Ever wondered how airbags work in a car? Well, it's an intricate process that involves physics, engineering, and a good deal of finesse. So buckle up and get ready for a journey into the world of airbags. Airbags, those life-saving cushions that pop out in case of a collision, are a marvel of modern technology. But how do they know when to inflate? That's where the crash sensor comes into play. Think of it as the brain of the operation. It continually monitors the car's motion. If it detects a sudden violent stop, it sends a signal that triggers the airbag's deployment. But how does the airbag inflate so quickly? It's all about chemistry. An igniter starts a chemical reaction in the inflator producing a gas. This gas fills the airbag, causing it to inflate in a fraction of a second. It's a process that happens faster than the blink of an eye. What about the size of the airbag? Surely one size doesn't fit all, right? Indeed, airbags are designed to be large enough to protect an adult. They're also flexible enough to cushion the impact for passengers of different sizes and seated in various positions. And let's not forget the importance of the airbag's fabric. It's strong enough to withstand the force of a person being thrown against it, yet porous enough to allow the gas to escape slowly. This controlled deflation is what helps to cushion the impact and protect the passenger. It's also worth noting that airbags aren't designed to work alone. They're part of a system that includes seatbelts. While the airbag provides an additional layer of protection, the seatbelt is the primary safety device. It keeps the passenger in place, reducing the risk of serious injury. So, to sum it up, airbags work through a combination of sensors, chemistry and design. The crash sensor detects a collision and triggers the airbag. The inflator then initiates a chemical reaction to rapidly fill the airbag with gas. The airbag's size, material and ability to deflate slowly all contribute to its effectiveness. And of course, it works in tandem with seatbelts for maximum safety. It's a complex process, but the result is simple. A safer ride for everyone in the car. So the next time you hop in your vehicle, take a moment to appreciate the science and engineering that goes into making your journey safer. It's truly remarkable.